Hello, it is Mr. Evil Cheese. And I'm the Wicked. And this is our review of the Mad Balls Monster Edition of Hornhead. Made by Premium DNA. And this is an exclusive to Amazon and the Premium DNA website. Or something like that. But it's an exclusive. Limited edition version. Well, Ink Fusion Empire was selling it on Amazon. Yeah, this one's painted to look like the My Pet Monster from the 80s. But it's Hornhead. You'll see. Well, it's probably in the picture on the, on the thumbnail. But yeah. You'll see some more. <laughs> but these were previewed a couple years ago. Not this specific one. This one's they just recently revealed and then it came out. But these mad balls with figure bodies based on the old head poppers from the 80s were previewed about two years ago and some issues happened and they finally came out and this is the first one I got even though it's the most recent one that I ordered <laughs> which is kind of weird I ordered series one but they haven't come yet but they got a real nice box with all the mad balls on it well not all of them but a lot of them a lot of the main ones which is really cool and up there was it say official mad balls well just official mad balls that's cool and this slides up and there's the figure hornhead you can see it's painted like my pet monster even the art down there looks like it it says magular action figure <laughs> now usually mad balls are just heads just the ball head but back in the 80s they gave them head popper bodies and these are based on that and you can see the other ones the series one figures of those guys on the back there they are again they don't show the regular horn head the purple one but there you can see the other three some more art of him what's on the bottom nothing well let's get him out of there okay there he is open up and he comes with a lot of accessories if I remember correctly the original head popping mad balls I don't think they came with anything they just had the body and the head that shot off uh, this head doesn't shoot off like the old ones did but you can still take the head off it's probably a good thing it doesn't shoot off because it's real heavy and it yeah. probably hurt <laughs> I knew when we first opened it I picked him up and I'm like whoa he's way heavier than I thought he would be he is a heavy figure he's solid and I knew they were a little bit bigger than the original head poppers but when I got them I'm like whoa he's He's a lot bigger and bulkier than I thought he would be. He's, you can see he's not as tall as my figure. He's probably about maybe six inches tall up to there, maybe. Or maybe up to here, six inches, something like that. But he's a tall figure. I mean, he's really wide and heavy. He's stout. Yep. <laughs> but, yep, I really like the paint on him. Real nice, bright colors. And it seems to be painted on pretty clean, which is real nice. Yep, I'm pretty impressed with him. Like, I was not expecting him to be this nice he comes with a bunch of accessories like I say and he comes with this big club it's got a skull on it a bunch of spikes and nails in it some <laughs> slime <laughs> a big chicken leg with the worms spiders. <laughs> he has spiders and worms and bugs and stuff all over it and then he's got this little like mace it's got a real chain on it and it's kind of like a little mad ball in there looks like horn head except a oh, bunch of little spikes instead of just one horn so that's pretty cool and he comes with six alternate hands he's got a holding hand a pointing finger just kind of an open hand and then fists which are on there already so that's really cool and there he is next to some other figures you got a NECA 7 inch Jason a black series 6 inch Anakin and a Marvel Legends 6 inch Rogue so you can get an idea of how big he is. We actually have an original My Pet Monster stuffed animal. I had one when I was a little kid. And I don't know whatever happened to it, but I don't have any more. But Zombie Cat never had one, so a few years ago. We got her one on eBay. It's used, and it's uh, not in perfect condition, but it's still pretty good. It was one of those things that I had always wanted as a kid and never got, so... I was quite excited when you got me one. <laughs> Let's go bring it out now. So there he is. Um, like we're saying, he's a little bit used, so, you, so the uh, 
his hands and feet are missing his paint on there. He has some like dark gray paint and his little fingernails and toenails were painted on like a little light teal color, but it's all rubbed off. And also this is all we have of his handcuffs and it looks like it was chewed up by a dog or something, but. Yeah, I wish we could get handcuffs for him, but we've looked and didn't find any. Yeah. But still other than that, he's in decent condition, I guess. Mm-hmm. But uh, they were comparing the colors and they're very close. You can definitely tell this is supposed to be by that monster colors. But you notice right away that this- The belly should be darker. Even the picture on the box, they have it painted like black. Yeah, this is just like almost dark blue purplish, but it should be more of a black color. Other than that, most of the colors are pretty accurate, I'd say. Yeah, and I mean, that's not, we'll probably fix it, but even if we couldn't, it's not a huge deal. Yeah. That's really cool seeing them together. It looks mm -hmm. like a little, his little mutant son or something. I was thinking it looked like his toy of, of one of his kind. Yeah. Like that's his little Barbie doll of himself. <laughs> <laughs> but it's got one eye instead of two. And one horn instead of two. <laughs> We're actually thinking it'd be cool if he had the, the orange handcuffs too. But uh, like you're saying, maybe we can make them. Yeah, I was thinking maybe we could get like some plastic chain and just make the cuffs ourselves. Yeah, shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, these uh, you're supposed to be able to pop these apart at all of the joints, and then switch them with the with all the other figures in this line. If you want to just mix and match and make some kind of Frankenstein monster. But we don't have anybody else yet, so. Oh yeah, <laughs> can't I got show it off. Series at this point. series one's on the way. Probably by the time I post this, I'll have them. But that's cool, you can do that. I guess we'll put some weapons in his hand or something. I like the little bit of guts sticking out of his stitches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they, that's one thing with mad balls. They always gotta have their stitches and cuts and often slime or blood or something dripping Smart. out. Yeah. <laughs> Just to be gross. But uh, yeah, they're gonna make mad balls versus garbage bell kids figures and they're another 80s thing that loves their boogers and snots and stitches and just being disgusting <laughs> i love that that always reminds me of when i was little and i used to watch ren and stimpy and they did those close-ups yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i always liked that mm -hmm. but as yeah, you can see the, the head basically just spins it's on a ball joint but it doesn't do much more than spin and the shoulders Pretty good there. Articulation at the elbow does that. Spin. Spin at the wrist and there's a hinge. A little movement at the stomach area. And then at the hips. Can you go in and out? I think, yeah, I can. Go in and out a little bit there. And then there's the joint at the knee. Spin there. Down the ankle. So it's got. Alright, articulation for this bulky looking guy. He moves pretty well, more than I would think they would try to do on him. So there he is holding two weapons. He's pretty cool. I'm swinging around. And I really like this thing. Mm -hmm, I love that club. Although I have to say, I think they pounded the nails in too far because they're not going to do anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there he is holding his chicken leg, drumstick. <laughs> it's a very odd color of a chicken leg. It's a very odd color of arms too. <laughs> yeah, the bones <laughs> green. I think they're probably more of a normal color on the regular version of him. Maybe it's not actually a chicken leg. Some other kind of thing he ripped apart. So if you want it to be just a mad ball, you can take the head off. It's not completely round or anything though, but still kind of looks like a mad ball sitting there. It would, it would look kind of cool on those little display things that they, they had for the other Mad Balls. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Little pedestals. But I like the body. Yeah, me too. And uh, you can pop the joints apart. Like I said, I think all the joints come apart. I haven't tried all of them yet. Well, I know the hands come apart, but... Break hands. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I, yeah, all the joints I think you can switch. Some of them are a little tough to pop out of there. Seems to be pretty sturdy. 
And I think for us, we're probably not going to want them to be switched around, but it's still cool that you can if you want to. Yeah. I might do it when I get the other series just to just to do it for the video, but mm -hmm. probably won't keep them that way. So there's a whole bunch of my other Hornhead Mad Balls that I got. <laughs> That's quite a collection. Yeah. I did have the original Head Poppers, but I don't have them anymore. I had the original series of Mad Balls and I got rid of them all. And then I got this one on eBay because I don't want to pay too much. But yet it's, he's, <laughs> he's a little sad. <laughs> yeah, he's in bad shape. But he's one of the original, original ones. He's, this one's hard because the first series that came out was hard and then they re released them softer so they weren't hurting all the kids. Well, that first series also I don't think was really built to last. No, no, not even, none of them, all early ones were. I played with mine and they got messed up. Threw them around. Some of these are more recent. This is one that came out 2000. I don't know if the date's on here. I repainted it though, to make it a little better. This one was made by Mondo. It's really hard plastic, so it's not like squishy ball. Kid Robot came out with a bunch like this. Kid Robot, I think, is owned by NECA. This one's squishy. Bigger than the old ones. And then, well, I forget the name of the company that makes these. Is it on here? Um, Just Play. Yeah, they have a different design. He had an X on his eye, like, they also made this little one. I don't really like the X. So I repainted this one and added some shading to it. And, uh, Kid Robot also made this little guy. A keychain. And this one. And this big one back here was made by them. Hard plastic. This is an old one that came out around the time of the original Mad Balls little wind up thing. This won't really work very well. He says, I'm old, leave me alone. <laughs> Well, kind of wish I had the new horn head stick there too. Well, we'll get them soon enough. <laughs> we'll show them all again. Yeah. <laughs> well, the day after we started filming this, the rest of the bad balls came. Even though it said they were on the other side of the country, somehow they arrived today. But that's cool. But now I can show the regular horn head next to this My Pet Monster version. And there's the whole big group of horn heads that I have. Here they are all with their bodies all mixed up. Every single joint can pop apart and you can switch them with the others. So that's cool. Okay. So, yeah, I really like this guy. And it's really cool getting them, but at the same time, it's like, man, another line that I want to get them all. Yeah, we've got too many of those lately. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, yeah, I'm pretty happy with them. Uh, probably gonna repaint his chest black. I think. Uh, even when you get the rest of them, this one's probably still going to be my favorite just because it's the My Pet Monster <laughs> yeah. one. It'd actually be cool if they made just a My Pet Monster one of these. Mm -hmm. Gave them the My Pet Monster head. You have to get the license. The big nose. Yeah. Yeah, he's really cool. He likes his little accessories. Like you can pop them apart at every joint. And articulation's all right for how bulky and stubby he is. Mm -hmm. Yep, I really like him. So, go get one. <laughs> yeah. If if you want to. Um, I don't know. He's he's limited edition, so he could be sold out by now. I don't know. But yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> but you can still get the other ones from the other series. Well, it's Mr. UT. And I'm Thumb Again. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. What in the hell are you supposed to be? I'm a mad ball. What does that mean? I'm a ball. A freaky gross ball. You mean like a ball, like like a ball that people play with? Yeah, exactly. What in the hell are you talking about? You're not a ball. You're a hairy blue cyclops. I'm only blue because of my pet monster. You have a pet monster that turned you blue? No, my pet monster is a name. That makes no sense. So what? Your name is Madball? No, it's Hornhead. Hornhead the blue cyclops? No, Hornhead the mad ball. You're not a damn ball. I am when my head comes off. No, then you're just a decapitated blue cyclops. Ah! <laughs> Whatever, man. Hey everyone, it's Clementine from The Walking Dead, and you are watching Mr. Evil Cheese and Zombie Cat. Don't be a shitbird and subscribe already. Do it. Thanks.